Hi guys, this time I thought I'd bring to you the closet confidential tag because it looked like fun and so many of you have been asking to see some of my clothes so here's a little starter I guess. Well where I come from we don't call it a closet, we call it a wardrobe but you know same thing whatever. Oh my god my cat wants it. The other thing I wanted to say just before getting started was I now have a Facebook page and if you go like it then we can chat and hang out and stuff. I also have a new website up and the links to both of those are, well, in the description below. So go have a visit, go click like and stuff and you'll make me feel special. The first question is, what is the oldest item in your wardrobe? And that would have to be, I thought, probably my patch jacket. This was given to me maybe 10 years ago, a lady, and she said that she'd had it for a long time, I think. She used to be a goth, so she passed it on to me. It's, it's pleather. When I was 18, I decided it would be cool to put studs on the back in the shape of a coffin, because, yeah, that's just how cool I was. It's got a wee dangly skull thing that came off a pair of gloves that I think I got from Claire's while I was living in the UK, and a wee damned badge. That's the first patch I got there um, ages ago, so I'll keep them all back here. The beach ball, stuck in here we've got Susie and the Banshees, Sex Game Children, uh, Alien Sex Fiends, pull oh, that guy's face. Specimen. Some of these I got for free, which was really cool. Sisters of Mercy. Yeah. But that jacket was in some pretty stiff competition with these boots. Sorry, they look quite had it, but that's because they are. My mum bought these for me many years ago. They are they're from the 80s and they're older than me, and I think they've actually done pretty well to last that long. And they're covered in cat fur. So put those down. Question number two is what is your newest item? I have sort of two answers for that as well because I got two things at the same time and one is what I'm wearing at the moment which is this PVC cincher belt thingy from Lip Service. It's not a corset, I don't wear corsets. The other thing, and I am so in love with this very wonderfully shiny um, Lip Service PVC dress. I like PVC a lot. It's an underbust dress so it comes to just there. It has straps at the back and it zips up. And it's it's only it's only quite a short dress and I'm just so in love with it. It's, this dress is just so freaking cool. I'm stoked with it. Question number three is what is your most expensive item? I'm gonna go ahead and say it's probably this $150 coat. I really wanted it for ages and they never had my size. It came in red or black and obviously I wasn't going to get it in red but anyway let me show it to you. It's from the little chili shop on eBay. I think it's Punk Ray is the brand I think. But it's got this wonderful fur trimmed hood at the back. Just look at the look at the detail on this thing. Look at the pattern it's got fur cuffs. It's super long. It's floor length. So this coat was expensive. I wouldn't generally spend that much on one garment, but I really, really wanted this coat, and it's it's amazing. It's just this floor-length, impressive statement of a thing. I messaged a lot of people who've been selling it and put my name on the waiting list, and maybe after like a year, somebody got back and says, we have the coat in your size. See how I'm trying to justify this? The next question is, what was the cheapest or most affordable item? That was, that's a difficult one for me to answer because I, I do a lot of shopping at op shops or thrift stores. I have a lot of stuff that was really very cheap. One of the things I thought was a particularly good deal was the little crop top thing you've seen me wearing a few times. It looks like this at the back, all shredded with thingies that jingle. That cost me maybe two dollars. Another really good bargain I got recently was I spent two dollars on this bag. Yeah, it looks like it's worth two dollars you think? I thought it was cute, it's a wee backpack. I thought I, I will find a use for this. So it's become my gym bag. So cute. So what was the biggest bargain? My first thought to answer this question was this pair of lip service trousers. What? I bought these a long time ago. I bought these oh, nine, ten years ago. The lip service. PVC trousers usually cost like a hundred dollars, these were fifteen dollars. So I thought that was probably the best bargain I've ever got because like well basically it's designer clothing for I uh, yeah, I found it I found it in an op shop. I couldn't believe it. I'm like, who would actually get rid of these? 
I didn't really wear them. I've since given them to my boyfriend. He's worn them a lot and they're sort of starting to die. Next question is, what was the biggest waste of money? The biggest waste of money was definitely this thing. Oh my god, cat! It's got these big long meshy things that hang off at the waist. It's got feathers on the front and on the shoulders. It's got chains that hang across the chest. It's laced up at the back. I have actually got no idea what this is. I just always called it the thing. No really, what, what is this? It's a punk rave um, garment. I'm not sure if it's meant to be a top or a dress or a jacket or a vest. I don't know. It's a thing. And I keep thinking, you know, one of these days I'm going to do something to this. I'm going to turn it into like a, a shrug and a skirt. I'm going to do all kinds of things. I'll sell it. I don't know. The reason it was the biggest waste of money is that I've never actually worn it. The reason I've never worn it is because it doesn't suit me in the slightest. Something I often find a problem is buying clothes from Asian websites is they'll often have really high waists. And this does. This has a very high waist. And because it has these meshy things that flare out at the at the hips I guess. Where it's supposed to flare out at the hips it actually flares out at my waist so it basically it just makes me look three times as wide as I am. It just doesn't suit me. It looks really truly awful. So I bought it four or five years ago and it's just been sitting in my wardrobe looking interesting and confusing. Finally is the bonus question. Show us your three favorite items right now. That was really hard to choose. I have a lot of things I really like a lot. I mean, but there are there are heaps of other things I really like as well that I had to leave out. I'm gonna do a wardrobe tour soon so you'll get to see everything. So it might be four items. So definitely one of my favorite items in my wardrobe is my ship hat. It is a hat with a ship on it. Yar. Yar. It's so freaking cool. I wear it every now and then. I usually wear it on stage because it's, you know, big and fancy and interesting and it stays on actually really well. I really always wanted a ship hat, believe it or not. I was going to try making one because I was making hats for a while, but no, I don't need to. All the banging you keep hearing on my door is my cat. She's pretty weird. One of my other favourite items at the moment is lip service coat. I was really happy to get it because I think it was discontinued a while ago and it's just got everything on it that I like. It's incredibly shiny, stiff PVC. It has fur on the shoulders and the cuffs and around the bottom. And it has spikes like everywhere. I have to be pretty careful when I'm hugging people because I spark them. It's really noisy when I wear it, it squeaks a lot and I sound like I'm made of rubber. Yeah. The coolest coat ever. This next garment has long been one of my favourites. I've had it for quite a few years, maybe three or four years now I suppose. The brand is Red Queen's Black Legion, it's more or less punk rave really. It's like an underbust blazer with red roses on it. It's one of the only things I have that isn't entirely black. It's got coattails at the back, lovely, lovely sleeves, lots of really beautiful applique detail. And I remember it was the thing I was wearing the night I met my fiance. Lastly, something a bit less fancy, but definitely something that is one of my favourite things at the moment is this extremely plain black blur maxi dress. It's from Glassons! And I like this thing because it's easy. Like my answer to I can't be bothered getting dressed today, I put this on and it covers everything in one go. Oh my god, Kate, go away! So, and I put this on with just like a long sleeve black cardigan and I've got clothes on every part of my body and I've put in zero effort. Okie dokies, well I think that's it from me and my closet confidential tag and special thanks to Fluid Force for thinking it up. Please subscribe to my channel, I put out a new video every Friday. And thank you very much for watching, I hope you've had a nice time and I will see you next time. Bye! Finally, I let you in. Oh, you're like the most chilled cat in the world, say hi. Say hi and also apologise for being so annoying. Floppiest cat in the whole world. Look at this, this is not normal cat behaviour. This is not what normal cats do. You're just a freak. Bye!